Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Hiniling ko po na tayo po ay tumayong lahat at tayo po ay manalangin. Dakilang Diyos, Ama, na makapangyarihan sa lahat. Kami po ay taus-pusong nagpapasalamat sa panimbagong araw at umaga na pinagkalob mo sa amin. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa pagkakataon na kami po ay nakapagsamba sa iyo sa Espiritu at Katotohanan. Sa kabila ng aming naranasan na pandemic COVID-19, Ikaw pa rin, Panginoon, ang nagbibigay ng paraan upang kami po ay makapaglingkod sa inyo. Dalangin po namin na manguna ka sa amin, kalagitnaan, kumilos, Panginoon, at mangusap ka po sa amin sa pamamagitan ng iyong mga salita, mensahe na aming mapapakinggan. Abutin mo, Panginoon, ang aming pangailang spiritual. At humingi din po kami ng kapatawaran sa lahat ng aming pagkulang, pagkakasala na aming nagawa, upang kami po ay karapat dapat sa iyong harapan at daluyan ng iyong pagpapala. Ganun din, Panginoon, ang mga kapatid po namin na, na hindi po namin kasama sa umagang ito, dalangin po namin na abutin mo po sila, Panginoon, mangusap ka sa kanila. Patuloy mo silang ingatan, gabayan sa kanilang buhay. At Panginoon, ganun din ang mga nanonood at nakikinig sa online service na ito. Ikaw po ang patuloy na magpala sa kanilang buhay. At binabalik po namin ang lahat ng papuri, pasasalamat. At ito po lamang ang aming hiling at dalangin. Sa pangalan ni Jesus na aming tagapagligtas. Amen. Amen. Blessed Sunday po sa bawat isa. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let us sing for the Lord in the service of the King. I am happy in the service of the King. I am happy, oh so happy. I have peace and joy that nothing else can bring In the service of the King In the service of the King Every talent I will bring I have peace and joy and blessing In the service of the King I am happy in the service of the King Marami pong salamat sa awit na yan at maaari na po kayo magsiyo po. Awitin po natin ang ating pong second song, Trust, Try, and True. Oh, no. 
para po sa atin pong natatanging bilang, ay tawagin po natin si Sister Denise Akareng at susundan po yan ng Preaching of the Word of God by Pastor Mark Bitul. Marami pong salamat sa awitin na yan. Totoo pong uh, lahat tayo kailangan mapaalalahanan. No? And the reason why we have preachings ay uh, para ma-remind din naman tayo. Uh, maraming mga bagay na kailangan po nating matutunan. Pero marami rin po mga bagay na alam na natin. Kailangan lang tayong mapaalalahanan. And uh, we hope and pray na ang atin pong series ng stewardship ay nagiging uh, paalala sa atin at nagiging uh, blessing po sa atin habang naaalala natin. At the same time, kapag ito po ay ating ginagawa, ay nagiging malaking factor po para ang ating 
buhay ay mas lalong ma-enjoy natin yung ating Christian life at the same time ay maabot natin yung vision natin as a church. Kasi ang church po, remember, is not this building. Ang church is the people, yung po mga nakakilala sa Panginoon. And uh, sa uh, bawat isa po sa atin, good morning po sa mga kapatiran natin online. We thank you for being there. Uh, medyo nagkaroon po tayo ng technical difficulties muli. And uh, keep praying for our um, members, mga kapatiran po natin. Some of them are still uh, sick and some of them are uh, still having a hard time sa kanila pong mga situations. And let us keep praying for each other. So, ito po yung ating conclusion ng ating stewardship sa series po natin. At uh, ito po ay stewardship of time. Stewardship of time. Tinalakay po natin kung pwedeng pahina ng konti kapatid para uh, hindi nag echo no? Sa stewardship po natin, tinalakay natin yung stewardship of talents, sinika po nating aralin regarding the gifts, yung spiritual gifts po natin, mga pinagkaloob na sa atin ng Diyos at gagamitin po natin at pagyayamanin. And then last Sunday, we have also studied regarding the stewardship of treasure. Very important po yung ating talent, yung ating time, and of course, yung ating treasure, and of course, yung ating pong time. And if you have your Bibles with you, would you open it with me to the book of Psalm, Psalms? And we will open in Psalm 90 and verse 12. The 90th Psalm and verse 12. So kung nakita na po natin, ay uh, maaari ko ba marinig yung isang malakas na amen sa atin dito sa loob? Ayun, narinig nyo? <laughs> Hindi siguro, no? Well, tayo po tayo lahat at maaari ko po bang hilingin para sa pagbibigay galang ng salita ng Diyos, we stand in ovation kapag ka may mga dignitaries na dumarating, when people with uh, high ranks ay nakakasalamuhan natin, we usually stand. Pero walang tataas sa Diyos at lalo na rin yung kanyang salita, we give honor to His Word. And that's the reason why we always try to stand up when we read God's Word. Psalm 90 and verse 12, the Bible says, So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. This morning, Paul, we will talk about treasuring the truths of time. Treasuring the truths of time. Shall we go to the Lord in prayer first? Our God and our Heavenly Father, we come to thank you this morning. We thank you for this wonderful time that you have given us. We thank you because you're still giving us opportunities like this para ikaw ay aming sambahin. Hindi man po kami magkasama-sama ngayon, pero naniniwala po kami that as we spend our time this morning, ay maari naming masabi na ibinibigay namin ang amin pong oras para sa iyo. Hayaan po ninyo na ang oras din naman ito ay maging kapakipakinabang. Tulungan po ninyo na ang bawat isa sa amin ay may matutunan. Buksan mo ang puso at isipan ng bawat isa. Alisin po ang anumang mga bagay, anumang distractions, anumang mga pangyayari na magiging hadlang para hindi maging maayos ang aming pakikinig. Tulungan mo po na kahit kami ay nasa aming mga tahanan ay manatili pa rin ang aming puso ng pag-revere, pagbibigay ng respeto sa iyong salita. At hayaan po ninyo na sa aming mga matututunan, may ma-accomplish po sa aming mga buhay. At sa bawat ma-accomplish sa aming mga buhay, ikaw po ang patuloy rin namang maluwalhati. Magligtas ka po ng mga kaluluwa at patuloy din naman na magpalakas ng mga mana ng palataya. Hayaan po ninyo na habang kami nakikinig sa iyong salita, ay may mga mabuong decisions sa aming mga buhay upang mas lalo mong makita ang aming buhay to be as blessed 
as it can be, like you want it to be. Muli po, inihingi namin ang iyong panguna. In Jesus' name we ask and pray. Amen. Maari na po tayo magsiupo. Marami pong salamat. Ito pong Psalm 90 was a psalm to some na mga Bible scholars, they say na ito pong author ng psalm or 90th psalm ay hindi po yung Moses that we know of. But if we study at inaral natin, even Moses was also musical. Siya po ay uh, mahilig din naman na umawit ng mga papuri. And so, we see na yung pong pagkasulat po nitong 90th psalm is about Moses showing the brevity of time. Maikli ang buhay. In Numbers chapter 20, ay makikita po natin na si Moses had encounters with the very life of his loved ones. Si uh, Miriam na kanya pong kapatid, and then si Aaron, and then of course, nung siya po ay when he had that grave mistake of striking the rock when God only told him to speak to the rock. And so he understood and he experienced na talagang ang buhay ng tao maikli lamang. Many of the things that he has experienced go back to where he realized and understood that God is eternal. And if we compare God's time to our time, hindi po natin ito masusukat sapagkat ang Diyos po natin is not bound by time. Now, what is time? Ano po ba yung time? Sabi po ng isang um, very known author, time is an interruption in eternity. Kapag ka po eternity ng pinag-uusapan, wala ka, hindi mo na kailangan pag-usapan ng time dyan. So, ang time po is only an interruption. Our time here on this earth is just an interruption in eternity. Now, as we focus on the brevity of life, para bang sabi nga po, yung thousand years po sa atin is like a day sa Diyos. No? And our days are fleeting. In the book of James, sinasabi nga po na para bang tayo vapor lamang. Makikita mo at mamaya wala na. We know of the many well-known people na talaga namang naging tanyag and now they have been long gone. So, ang buhay po is very important and our life is about our time in this earth. So, as Moses talks about the brevity of life, and as he also talks about God being our refuge and our creator, and he is the ultimate na person that we can lean to when it comes to our time, Moses also teaches us here the value of time. The value of time. So, teach us to number our days. It tells us, or it teaches us to treasure our time, yung oras po natin. Now, how can we treasure time? First, let us recognize the identity of time. Recognize the identity of time. Time, mga kapatid, mga minamahal, is a very precious commodity. Time is a gift from God. Kaloob po ito ng Diyos. Anything that God gives to us is very important. And if God gives us time, it should be precious. Time is the great equalizer. Hindi ba tayo nagtataka na may kani-kaniya tayo mga talento? Iba marahil yung level ng talent ng isa, iba yung level ng talent ng isa. May kani-kaniya tayong height, may kani-kaniya tayo pong na itsura, may weight, and anything. Pero ang lahat sa atin binigyan pare-pareho ng 24 hours in a day. Hindi man tayo magkapare-pareho ng laman ng ating bulsa. Hindi man po tayo magkapare-pareho ng kulay. Pero pare-pareho tayo lahat ng oras. Time is a great we equalizer. 
the most common gift that God gave to any human is time, mga kapatid, mga minamahal. It is time. Time can be your best friend or your worst enemy. Nakadepende po yan on what situation you are in. Kapag ka naglalaro tayo ng basketball at tambak tayo ng 20 points at sinig sinigaw na nung announcer na last two minutes, time is our enemy. On the other hand, kapag ka kayo naman ang lamang ng 20 at isinigaw ng announcer na last two minutes, aba, time will be our best friend. So kahit ano pong situation sa atin, it can either be that way, depending on what situation you are in. Time, sabi nga nila, time heals. Oh, ba? But the truth is, it is not time that heals. It is Jesus that heals. He only uses time to do it. Magtiwala tayo sa Panginoong Heso Kristo. Maraming mga bagay po na ating dadaranasan, mga uh, pasakit sa buhay that only Jesus can heal through time. Time never returns. Yung naubos po nating oras kanina, hindi na natin kailanman maibabalik po yan. Yung one second na natapos ko ngayon, hindi ko na maibabalik ulit. Yung oras na mga nawala sa atin kanina, can never be returned. Time cannot be manipulated. Hindi mo pwedeng manipulahin ang oras. You cannot even bribe it. Hindi mo pwedeng bigyan ng uh, bribery po yan. You can never borrow time. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin sa katabi mo, pwede bang pahiram ng oras mo? Babalik ko rin mamaya. <laughs> Hindi mo pwedeng ibalik ang, ang oras. You can never freeze time. Kahit sabihin natin, ay marami, teka lang, bago mangyari ito, ay kailangan ma-pause uh, ma, ma muna. Hindi natin pwedeng i-pause ang time. Time will move on. Mag-move on at mag-move on po yan. You can never slow down time. Kahit na nagmamadili ka, yung isang papunta sa trabaho, first day niya sa trabaho. No? Late pa. Kaya habang naglalakad siya, nagmamadali siya, nagpe-pray siya, Lord, tulungan mo naman ako huwag malate. Eh, nagmamadali. Natalisod. No? Nadapa. Sabi niya sa Panginoon, Panginoon, no? ba't mo ako tinulak? <laughs> Pinag-pray mo, tulungan ka. O yan, binilisan tuloy. No? Time, mga kapatid, cannot be slowed down. Time is gold. Time is gold. It is a very precious, sabi nga natin kanina, commodity. Do you believe that time is gold? Naniniwala ba tayo dyan? If time is gold, how many of us just give it away? If you really believe that time is gold, you don't spend time. You invest time. As I stand here in front of you, I don't just spend my time with you. I know it to be a precious commodity. It is gold. So I invest my time with you. Wag na wag ninyong ipamimigay lang ang oras ninyo sa kung kani-kanino. And you have to be very careful who you spend time with. Because you could either waste it. But if you're going to be wise, invest it. Sa mga discipleship groups po natin, sa mga discipleship group leaders po, you're not spending time with your disciples. You're investing time with them. Sa mga kapwa ko po, mga pastors, as we try to shepherd the, the flock, we're not spending our time. We are investing our time. Sa mga magulang po na nandiyan, if you're ever going to, 
yung pong time natin ay bibigay po natin sa atin pong mga anak, it's not a, a waste of time, it's an investment of our time. As you study, pag nag-aaral tayo, you're not spending your time in studies. You are investing your time. So be very careful kapag ka yung oras natin, ibibigay natin sa tao, pag-aaralan mo rin. Itong oras ba na binibigay ko na ito, will it be an investment? Will there be a return of investment? May mangyayari ba sa kanya? Because if not, don't spend time with people kapag ka alam mong tao na yan, wala rin namang patutunguhan yung ibibigay mong oras sa kanya. Invest your time. Because why? Time will soon end. Magwawakas at magwawakas din po ang time natin. Moses was one of the greatest leaders this entire world has ever known. Imagine mo kung million-million ang nililid mo. Sa wilderness pa. Eh yung 100 nga lang, 200 na tao, ang hirap pong i-lead. air condition pa. Wilderness yun. And yet, his time was up. Soon, our time will end. If I ask you, paano kapag ka ang time natin dito sa mundo is about to end? Have we really lived it into the fullest? Recognize the identity of time. Second po, respect the importance of time. Kaya ang sabi ni Moses, so teach us to number our days. He recognized na kailangan niyang matutunan. Teach us to number our days. He recognizes yung identity ng time. Now, he gives respect to time. Kapag ka po tayo ay magpapaturo sa isang tao, when you go to school, when you go to class, you do that out of respect because you know the person that's going to teach you has something valuable to give you. And if you're going to ask someone to teach me, you're telling the person, I respect you. And I'm open to what you're about to pour out into my life. Moses said, so teach us to number our days. Second is respect the importance of time. Respect the importance of time. Jesus himself respected time. Ang Panginoong Heso Kristo mismo. You would always hear him say, My R is not yet come. Tignan po ninyo in John chapter 2, John chapter 2, and verse 4. Ito po yung miracle sa marriage at Cana. Nung nawala na po ng wine, ay lumapit sila kay Mary. Si Mary ngayon, syempre alam niya, yung kanyang anak na si Jesus Christ is a doer of miracles. Kaya ang sabi niya, pinuntahan niya si Jesus, pero tignan niyo sabi ni Jesus in verse 4, Jesus saith unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine are is not yet come. Jesus respects time. If you don't respect time, time will not respect you. Time is not a respecter of a person. You should respect time. You can take my shoes away. Pwede ninyong kunin yung sapatos ko. Pwede akong magkasapatos ulit. By the way, salamat dahil blessing, dahil marami nagbibigay ng sapatos. No? Minsan, na uh, nung nasa Manila pa ako, Da, ang inaano ko dati, yung mga class A, class A na rubber shoes eh. Kasi sabi ko, sayang naman. Pag tinitignan ko yung halagan yan sa mall, may 
8,000, 10,000, sabi ko parang hindi ko yata kayang maglabas ng ganyang uh, pera. Kaya, ano lang, sabi ko, hindi na yata ako makakaranas ng mga original na mga sapatos. Ah. Pero salamat sa Panginoon, may mga taong nagbibigay. Tinitignan ko kahapon yung mga rubber shoes na nakastock up. Diba? Sabi ko, lahat ng rubber shoes ko pala ngayon, puro bigay. <laughs> And you can take it away, but I know I can have another one. You can take my barong away, but I can have another one. But if you take my time away, it is irreplaceable. I can never bring back the time that you take away from me. And same thing with you. If people take away your time, hindi na kailanman maibabalik yung bagay na yan. That's totally irreplaceable, mga kapatid. That's why we set our time. Kaya po nagsiset tayo ng time as a church when we worship together. Kapag ka po mayroon tayong time na pinag-uusapan to worship together, we try to be on time. Whether it be in prayer meeting, mga discipleship groups po natin, kung practice man yan sa atin pong nalalapit na choir, by the way, pagka nagsimula na uli yung atin pong uh, mga practices, be on time. Bakit? We want to show that we respect time. And we respect others' time. Kung tayo merong pong mga ginawa rin, yung iba rin who try to be on time, meron ding mga valuable na ginawa yan. Lahat naman tayo may mahalagang ginagawa. But when we set time, we get on time because we respect time. If you don't respect time, time will not respect you. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1 to 8. Tignan po ninyo yung sabi dyan. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sue. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Mga kapatid, mga minamahal. When it's time to sow, sow. Kapag ka oras na tayo magtanim, magtanim tayo. Do not expect to reap when it's your time to sow. Maraming tao, masyadong nagmamadaling umani that they never have time to sow. If you are in your sowing time, magtanim lang po tayo. When it's time to cry, we cry. When it's time to laugh, we laugh. Amen? Hindi naman puro seryoso ang buhay. Marami rin tayong time to laugh. When it's time to love, love. Amen? If it's not time to love, don't love. Don't fall in love. Mga magulang, pakisabi nyo sa mga anak ninyo ngayon. <laughs> no? Pag hindi pa oras, hindi pa oras. No? Respect the importance of time. When your parents tell you, it's not time, then it's not time. Number three, and last, redeem the impact of time. We recognize the identity of time, teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Respect the importance of time and then redeem the impact of time. Sabi dyan, teach us to number our days. Kasi sa nakita ni, ni Moses, napakahalaga ng oras, napakahalaga ng time. Pagka natapos ito, hindi ko na may babalik ito. And so, 
God teach us to number our days. Yung time namin, tulungan mo kami to value it, to treasure it. Na yung time na ito, napakaikli lamang, kailangan maging very valuable na every minute of it. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 15 to 17, tignan po natin. Sabi po ng Bible in Ephesians chapter 5, Verse 15 to 17, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Sa inyo ng mga Bible College students na nandirito, I'm glad that you know that time is very precious. Na habang kayo ay nasa murang edad pa lamang, you have already given the most valuable thing in your life and that is your time to the Lord. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. We do not have much time left. Hindi natin alam because the end of everything might be just another day away. Hindi natin talaga alam. Yung buhay natin, sana makita natin na ang pinakamahalaga pa rin magagawa natin sa time natin is to give it to the Lord. Redeem. To redeem means to buy back. Diba? Tutubusin natin to redeem it, to regain it. Ibig sabihin, it was once ours and it was lost, we are now going to redeem it back. You can never redeem your time if you do not know how to number your days. They say, time flies. Diba narinig po ba natin yun? Time flies. Pag nakita-kita ka kayo ng mga kababata mo, ay, how time flies, sabi nga nila. Diba? At tama po yan. But when it does, if you are going to be wise, be the pilot of it. Kung lumilipad ang oras, dapat ikaw ang maging piloto niyan. Proverbs 21, chapter 5, ang sabi po ng Bible, the thoughts of the diligent tend only to plenteousness but of everyone that is hasty only to want. Kapag ka po hindi tayo marunong sa pagpaplano, pag-iisip, ay, yung oras mo, lilipad lang talaga yan. Kailangan, alam mo kung paano paliparin ang oras. Now, how do you regain your time? Paano ba natin i-regain yung ating time? How do we do it? How do we redeem our time? First is measure it. Measure it. Kaya sabi dyan, teach us to number. When you talk about numbers, you're talking about measurement. You measure it. Oh? Measure it, mga kapatid. We only have one life to live. Nabilang po ba natin? Aba yung iba. Kung makapamuhay, parang may 100 lives sila. Parang akala nila kapag natapos ang buhay na ito, may panibagong buhay. <laughs> Wala. Dapat matutunan natin ang buhay, iisa lang talaga. And we believe kung bakit hinayaan ng Diyos and God decided to give us only one life para bigyan talaga natin ng napakataas na pahalaga yaan. Ang pera, Marami yan. Ang buhay mo, iisa lang. Huwag mong ipagpapalit ang buhay mo sa pera. We only have one life to live and you have to measure it, mga kapatid. In that life, dun sa one life natin, the Bible says that the average lifespan is about 70. Kung medyo malakas-lakas ka, ay Abutin mo pa yung 80. Ang sabi sa Psalm 90 and verse 10, 
The days of our years are three score years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be four score years or eighty years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. So, kung meron tayong around seventy to eighty years sa buhay po natin, we have about six hundred thirteen thousand two hundred hours na pwede nating spend or invest 24 hours every day we sure have time for something meron at meron tayong oras para sa mga bagay so measure it no you want to redeem your time you want to regain your time measure time teach us to number our days second po manage it manage it be in charge of your time. Do not let time be the one to take charge. Kasi kapag ang oras na ang nag-take charge, maghahabul at maghahabul ka lagi dyan. If you know how to measure time, you'll also learn to manage your time. Wala po tayong masyado ng oras. We don't have much time. We need to do what matters. Isa sa mga napakalaking kamalian sa isip ng marami ay yung sasabi niya, mahaba pa naman ang oras. <laughs> Kaya pagdating ng oras, wala na silang oras. We need God's wisdom so we can live a life that is rich in relationship with God and meaningful in its service for God. Yun ang kailangan po natin, wisdom from God. Do you ask God for wisdom on how you could manage your time? Nakita mo na yung oras mo. This is my time. How can I manage it? You ask God. Hingin natin sa Diyos ang tulong niya to give us wisdom para ma-manage natin ng maayos yan. We always hear people say, I am busy. Lalo na pagka sa ministry na pong pinag-usapan, pag tinanong mo yan, Kapatid, pwede mo bang gawin ito? Ay, nako, busy ako. Pwede ka bang umawit? Eh, busy ako. Alam niyo, sabi nila, busy is the new lazy. Bakit, Pastor? Because people are so poor at time management that they become so busy with other things, they have procrastinated. Yung mga bagay kasi na pinagpaliban, yun ngayon yung ahabulin mo. Kaya ngayon, sasabihin mo busy ka when really you are not. And then, when it talks about the things that really matters, like your service for the Lord, tsaka mo sasabihin, busy ako. Na ang katotohanan yan, ang dami mo kasing pinagpalibang oras na dapat na-accomplish na yung mga Trivial things. Ngayon, pati yung very valuable na para sa Diyos, nawawala. So how can we manage our time? Prioritize. Let us learn to prioritize. First things first. Pakisabi nyo nga sa katabi niyan. First things first. Sa mga nasa online po, pakisabi niyo sa katabi ninyo. First things first. Kung wala po kayong katabi, sabihin nyo na lang sa sarili ninyo. First things first. No? When we talk about priorities, when we talk about putting first things first, we're also talking about you cannot please everybody. You cannot please everybody. Hindi mo magagawang i-please ang lahat. Alam niyo kung bakit maraming tao nagahabul sa maraming ginagawa? Because they want to please everybody. When a, when a lot of people come to you and ask for your time, you have to know na hindi lahat talaga mapi-please mo that you cannot give everybody time. It is not wise to put too much on your plate. Para bang sa plato po yan eh. Pag naka, nasubukan na ba natin kumain sa mga eat-all-you-can na mga buffet, no? 
Pagka sa Manila, ang dami niyan eh. Yung talagang pagkakita mo, punong-puno ng pagka Gusto mo lahat, ilagay sa plato mo. <laughs> sa akin po, uh, pagka kumakain kami dun sa mga eat all you can buffet, syempre medyo mahal. Pagkakain dun, hindi ako kumukuha ng kanin, hindi ako naghahanap ng adobo, hindi ako naghahanap ng sinigang dun. Bakit? Eh, yung mga yon nakakain ko naman sa bahay. Ang hinahanap ko doon, yung mga instead na kanin, sushi. <laughs> yung shrimp tempura, yung salmon, yung steak, yun ang hinahanap ko kasi hindi ko naman nakakain sa lahat ng pagkakataon yan. Nakakatawa minsan kapag may mga kumakain sa mga restaurant, pupunta pa ng restaurant, tapos ang hahanapin din naman, yung kinakain nila sa bahay. You have to learn to prioritize. Kaya ngayon, nauna mo lang kainin yung mga familiar kang kainin kasi lagi mo namang na, pwedeng mabili, busog ka na, nung nilabas na yung steak, hindi mo na makain yung steak kasi busog ka na. Wala ka ng lugar sa tiyan mo dyan. Katu- ganyan din ang oras. Hindi lahat ng bagay pwede nating ilagay sa plato natin. You have to prioritize. First things first. God is first. Amen? God is first. Your relationship with God should be your utmost priority. When you wake up in the morning, do you put God first? Do you put God first? Kaya po tayo mayroong devotions. Meron tayong daily Bible reading natin, daily prayer po natin because we want to put God first because He really should be the priority of our life. Paano masisimulan yung relationship na yan? Tignan po niyo in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 2. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 2. Sabi ng Bible, For He saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Kung sakali man na ikaw po ay nanonood ngayong oras na ito, at sinasabi mo, Pastor, hindi ko talaga sigurado kung meron akong tamang relationship sa Diyos. Now is the accepted time. Huwag mo nang ipagpapabukas yan, huwag nang mamayayaan. Ngayon na. Now is the accepted time. The best time is now if it talks about a, your relationship with God. As you listen to the preaching of the Word of God, wag mo munang buksan ang Facebook mo, wag mo munang tignan yung Twitter na yan, wag mo munang i-on yung uh, TV, wag ka munang manood ng YouTube, wag mo munang asikasuhin yung iluluto. This is your time with the Lord. Prioritize it. Now is the accepted time, lalo na pag pinag-usapap mo ang kaligtasan. In Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33, Sabi ng Bible, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Priority. Priority. Seek first the kingdom of God. Hindi sinabi, pagkatapos mong gawin yung mga importante mong mga ginagawa, tsaka mo isunod ang kaharian ng Diyos. Ang sabi ng Bible, but seek ye first the kingdom of God. How much time do you spend with God and His people? Kung meron tayong tithe principle when it comes to giving our treasure, hindi ba maganda na meron din tayo maging tithe, tithe principle when it comes to our time? Yung tithing po, although yan po ay 10% lang, yung 100%, 10% lang, pero hindi yan yung bottom na 10%. It should be on top. Bago mo pa man uh, tingnan yung mga expenses mo, you give to God what is due to God. Sa treasure natin. Pero hindi lang dapat dyan. Dapat pati sa time natin. Measure it. Ilang oras ba sa 24 hours ko in a day, ilan po ang 10% niyan? Ilan 10% ng 24 hours? Ha? Huh? 2 hours and 
2.4 hours. That's a 10%. Do you give two hours of your time to the Lord every day? And then, of course, after, after God, our family. Mahalaga po ang pamilya po natin. God, family. In the Bible, you find that even God Himself talks about prioritizing your family in salvation. Last Friday po, when we talked about the Philippian jailer, tinanong niya, what must I do to be saved? Ang sabi ni Paul, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved and thy house. Priority. Priority. Abay, mahirap naman, witness ka ng witness sa mga hindi mo kakilala, tapos yung mahal mo sa buhay, hindi nakakilala sa Panginoon. Bigay natin yung priority natin sa time natin. Hindi naman lahat may evangelize talaga natin. Pero nakakalungkot kung magaling kang mag win sa iba, tapos yung mga mahal mo sa buhay papunta sa impyerno. Give priority to your family. Are we praying for our family? Pinapanalangin ba natin sila? Do we spend time with them? Quality time. Oh, quality time. And then of course, our studies, our career, job, our business, our ministry. God, family, our studies, our career, job, business, or even the ministry. I hope we learn to prioritize. And then, as we learn to measure time, as we learn to manage time, let us learn to master time. Master your time. Ang sabi again, in the book of Psalm, Psalms, Psalm 90 and verse 12, ang sabi dyan, so teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. When you apply your heart unto wisdom, you will be able to master it. Master your time. Hindi pa pwede na magugulat ka sa oras mo. You have to master your time. Teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. In Colossians chapter 4 and verse 5, sabi nga, walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. Time can be a blessing or a curse, mga kapatid, depending on how you use it. Pagka ginamit mo yan ng mali, it will be a curse to you. But if you use it right, it will be a blessing to you. How do you use your time? Alam po ninyo yung generation natin, our generation, sabi nila, sa pag-aaral, is the busiest generation compared to other generations. It's the busiest, mga kapatid. But the problem, ito po ang problema, many of the time we spend are not the things that really matter and the things that God has created for us to do. Yun na nakalulungkot. We don't really like what we are doing. We just have to do it. Ay, pag di ko kasi ginagawa, gagawin ito, eh, umawalan ako ng sweldo. Do you know that you can be busy but not effective? If we don't learn to master our time, pwede kang maging napaka-busy and never accomplish anything. Busyness doesn't mean effectiveness. Are you busy or are you effective or are you just busy? Mga kapatid, tanungin natin sarili natin yan. Busy lang ba ako? O effective ako? 
being effective will mean being productive. And being, yung productivity po is making the most of what we have been given. You see, God is responsible for what He gives us. Siyang nagbibigay sa atin. But we are responsible on how we handle what we have been given. Lahat tayo binigyan ng oras, tayo ang responsable kung paano natin gamitin yung oras na yan. How do we use it? Are we being effective, productive dyan? Why is it important for us to master our time? Bakit ba napakahalaga na i-master natin yung ating time? Magwawakas na po tayo in this mga bagay po na ito. And I hope, ito po medyo parang lecture type po. And I hope you understand, itong January talaga, tinatry lang natin isettle muna bago tayo gumawa ng kung ano-ano. Bakit po mahalaga? Why is, it, why is it important to master our time? Because God is the God of time and timing. And when we talk about timing, pagka pinakikinggan po ninyo ang mga tumutugtog ng piano, you're hearing the sound na mayroong timing. Pagka yung kumakanta ay hindi sumabay doon sa tumutugtog, <laughs> ang pangit pakinggan. It will only become a good sounding music if the singer is on time with the player. God is the God of timing, mga kapatid. Kailangan malaman po natin yan. Kaya tignan nyo sabi dyan, teach us to number our days. Number our days. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Kaya nga meron tayong kumpas. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Rhythm. May rhythm ang Diyos. May rhythm ang Diyos. May timing ang Diyos. He is the God of time and He is also the God of timing. The reason why He wants us to measure time, to manage time, is because when we learn to manage time, we will learn to master time. Sa mga nakapanood na ba kayo mga nagtitinikling? Pag pinapanood mo yan, pagka nawala sa timing yan, lagot ang paan yan. <laughs> Diba? Tuk, 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 tuk. No? Pagka o oh, hindi ka nakapasok sa tamang timing, maga ang paa mo. <laughs> hindi ba sabi ng Bible, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Kaya nga sabi niya, order my steps, Lord. Order my steps. One, two, Three, four. One, two, three, four. My order, mga kapatid, because God is the God of order. He's not the God of confusion. So, merong order kahit sa time, mga kapatid. Merong timing yan. Pagka hindi ka marunong tumiming, kahit gano'n ka kagaling. <laughs> Nasubukan na po ba natin yung wala ka sa timing? Oh. Yung bibisita ka sa bahay ng kaibigan mo tapos nasa gate ka pa lang naririnig mo pinagsisigawan yung yung kaibigan mo. <laughs> Ipagpapaalam mo sana kasi may lakad kayo eh narinig mo nako. Huwag ka nang papasok, huwag ka nang kakatok. Ha? Oh. Pinagagalitan na eh, kakatok ka pa eh. <laughs> Sabi, eh, pagpaalam ko lang po, pagpaalam baka pati ikaw, madamay ka. Very important po ang timing. Very important ang timing. When you learn this very principle, kaya tignan nyo, when God created, and the morning and the evening was the first day, and then He numbered it again, and the morning and the evening was the second day. My time. At may timing. May rhythm. 
Kaya nga sabi niya, may season eh. Summer, fall, winter, spring. Mayroong cycle, mayroong season, may timing. Mayroon pong rhythm, mga kapatid, mga minamahal. He said, to everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. Understanding your time and season is very important. If you do not learn to manage it, you will never learn to master it. Pagka hindi mo na master yan, hindi mo ngayon alam kung kailan yung timing na darating sa'yo na ibibigay ng Diyos. Yung season mo, hindi mo ngayon alam kung kailan. Napakahirap na doon sa tinikling, hindi mo maigagin, oh, 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 ay, magaang pa ah. Pero kapag ka na-master mo yung timing, <laughs> hindi ba napakaganda tignan? Why? Because timing is everything. When you learn how to number your days, you will then learn to be able to walk in coordination, order my steps. Kaya yung mga nagmamarcha, pagka sinabi nila, kaliwa, kanan, kaliwa, kanan, kaliwa, kanan, kaliwa, wa, 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 kanan, kaliwa. <laughs> Imagine mo, puro kaliwa sila, ikaw, kanang, kanang, kanan. Sinasabi ng commander, kaliwa, 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 kanan, kaliwa. Eh, ikaw naman, kanang, kanang, kanan. Ang layo mo sa hulog. Pag hindi mo alam i-master ang time, hindi mo alam kung kailan ang timing na tama. And if you don't master it, you will never be able to get in the position for your season. Paano mo malalaman na this is your time when you don't master your time? Ano yan? Manghuhula lang tayo? Panginoon, ikaw nang bahala sa akin. Ha? Sabi ng just binigyan kita ng time. Measure it. Manage it. Master it. If you can measure it and you can manage it and if you can master it, when the season comes for you, hindi mo mamimiss yan. Last time po, may bumisita sa atin dito, sila Pastor and Mrs. Cosgray. Uh, nag plan sila papunta. Nung pauwi na sila, uh, dumaan muna dito. Sabi namin, medyo may time pa naman. Natagalan dito, nag-picture-picture kasi. <laughs> Pagdating namin sa airport, medyo malakas pa ang loob ko eh, kasi may mga kilala ako sa airport. Pagdating doon, sabi, sarado na. Nakikita ko yung aeroplano, nandun pa. Pero ang sabi doon sa may window, hindi na pwedeng buksan. Because yung time ay tapos na. Ang daming pakiusap, ang daming usapan, may tinawag-tawagan pa ako. Sabi nung tinawagan ko, naku, pasensya ka na. If you don't respect time, time will not respect you and you will miss your flight. Pag hindi natin na master yung time natin, baka mamaya yung time natin, yung season natin dumating na at na mismo because you don't know the right timing for it. You can never know the right timing if you don't master your time. If you are not careful and you don't manage and master your time, you will miss God's timing for your life because God is the God of timing. Timing is everything. Timing is everything. Pakisabi nyo nga uli sa katabi ninyo, timing is everything. Timing is everything. Pwede mong i-practice ang i-practice ang sasabihin mo. Pero kapag ka wala ka sa timing, baka hindi maging maganda ang pandinig ng sasabihin mo. Timing is everything. Tignan po ninyo in Esther chapter 4, and this will be the last verse na ating babasahin. I just want to show you
Esther chapter 4 and verse 14. Most of us are familiar with this story in Esther. Pero tingnan niyo sabi dyan, in verse 14. For if thou altogether holdest thy peace at this time, not tomorrow, not yesterday, at this time, then shall their enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. But thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. And who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this. If you don't master your time, you will never know when your time comes. Naalala ko po, meron kaming, may Bible student noon dito, pina, meron akong pinakuha sa kanya sa bangko. Hindi ko alam, ay, hindi, first time niya palang pupunta ng bangko. Eh kasama niya yata, ang alam ko kasama niya yata noon si Preacher Elmer. Si Preacher Elmer naman, hindi tinuro sa kanya, pinanood. Pagdating doon sa may sa bangko, di ba may number na binibigay? Kinuha niya. Ang ginagawa niya daw, tinatapat niya doon sa may <laughs> akala barcode yung <laughs> may number. Eh, Siyempre, hindi, ma, ano, hindi niya mahintay o uh, umalis. Pagalis niya ngayon, nung bumalik na, iba na yung tinatawag na number, nalampasan na siya. When your name is called in your season, I hope and I pray that you are there. Be able to master your time. Jesus said, Mine are has come. Even Jesus, sabi niya kanina, Mine are is not yet come. But on the cross, he knew, eto na, this is my time. And salvation is so important to us. Imagine the very important part of our life, our salvation, was dependent on time. He said, this is my time. It's my time to die on the cross to save sinners like us. He was in the position for that season. Moses' time was known. Tingin nyo, kung babalikan natin yung buhay ni Moses. Mara, ang, ang haba ng buhay ni Moses eh. Pero alam, anong mga naalala natin? Yung mga seasons lang sa buhay ni Moses. When he went out of Egypt, burning bush, when his season came to go to Pharaoh, when his season came to cross the Red Sea, seasons. In between the seasons, he knew how to manage his time. Kaya nga sabi niya, teach us to number our days. Alam niya kung paano yung kanyang time and timing and now when seasons of his life comes, he was there. Abraham had a season. Sinabi sa kanya ng Diyos, dalin mo sa akin yung anak mong si Isaac. He knew that was his time. Kaya tingnan niyo ang anong sabi niya. Nagtatanong yung kanyang anak, asan yung lamb? Asan yung ating isa-sacrifice? Ang sabi ni Abraham, God will provide. He knew, this is my time. May mga seasons. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. My time, my timing. My timing, kapatid. And in your life, if you learn how to measure it, if you learn how to manage your time, God will give you the wisdom to master your time. And if you can master your time, alam mo how to get into the position na kapag ka tinawag na yung number mo, 
you know when to step in to be in the position for God to bless you. If it is not yet your time, if it is not yet your time, learn to measure it. You recognize more muna identity of time. Respect time. And then redeem the impact of time by measuring it, managing it, mastering it. And when you can master your time, Alam mo kailan? Alam mo kung kailan pasok? When you master your time, God then gets ready to take you. Ang sabi ng Bible, to everything, there is a season. A season. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9, Be not weary in well-doing, for in due season, you shall reap if we faint not. Shall we go to the Lord in prayer? Every head bowed for and every eyes closed. We will be concluding yun pong ating stewardship series but I hope and I pray na hindi po nagtapos dito yung atin pong pakikinig sana i-meditate natin ito magkakaroon tayo ng decision to apply this into our lives yung mga God-given gifts po natin spiritual gifts natin Let us be faithful na ipagagamit natin yan sa Diyos. Binigyan ka ng kakayahan ng Diyos hindi para sa iyong sarili lamang. Kaya binigyan yan ng Diyos para maging blessing ka sa iba. May mga makakilala sa Panginoon at makapaghatid ka ng kaluwalhatian sa Diyos. Pag pinagbuti mo yan, dinevelop mo yan. Your treasure, yung ating pananalapi, how well do we handle our treasures? How do we manage it? If we learn to handle it, katulad ng ating napakinggan last Sunday, to give to God what is right and manage what is left. And our time, the very precious commodity, I hope we recognize its identity. I hope we respect its importance. And I hope we redeem, we regain the impact of time its measure, its management. Time can be managed. And when you manage it, and you keep doing it long enough, you will be able to master it. And when you master it, God says, you have been faithful with your talents, with your gifts. You have been faithful with the treasures that I have entrusted you. You have been faithful with your time. You know how to manage your time. You have mastered time. You are now in the position. And I, the God of seasons and time, is about to get ready because you are all ready there in the position for blessing. I hope these messages, this series in stewardship will help us. 
sa mga hindi pa po nakakilala sa Panginoong Heso Kristo bilang kanilang Panginoon at tagapagligtas, now is the time for you to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Kinalanin mo siya bilang yung Panginoon at tagapagligtas. Have a relationship with Him. Sa mga mana ng palataya, let us continue to be a faithful steward of our talents, our treasures, and our time. Yan lang po ang magiging worthwhile. Only one life will soon be passed. And only what's done for Christ will last. Have you been investing for eternity? Our time here is temporary. Invest on eternity. Let us close in prayer. Our God and our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time that you have given us. And oh God, sa time na binigay mo sa amin that you have allowed us to have. Sana po naging worthwhile ito. Lord, I have given my time. I'm hoping and I'm praying na I was able to impart something to your precious people to invest into their lives. Bless each one of us at hayaan po ninyong patuloy naming i-meditate at i-apply ang aming mga napapakinggan. Salamat po because you are the God of seasons and you have promised there will be a due season for us. Salamat po. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.